When we started Root Happy about eight years ago, we were said to be the AT Pico of rich content. And lo and behold, as Rolf announced, we now are Root Happy by AT Pico. So we're thrilled to be part of your community. Thank you for supporting us. Um, you will not be surprised to find out that I want to talk to you about flight shopping and merchandising. So please get into flight shopping, uh, shopping mode. Um, merchandising. So, so much has changed in the last year, and I'm going to tell you about that, and some things have stayed the same. Merchandising, what is it exactly? Merchandising makes us want to buy stuff. So I'm the lucky guy that gets to show you beautiful pictures of uh, products. So here's a Tesla, and they just do such a brilliant job at streamlining their marketing and merchandising copy to entice you to buy this product. Um, All-wheel drive, 2.30 seconds from zero to 110 kilometers, um, the safest car in existence, really compelling, simple merchandising com content. Let's look at the iPhone. Yes. So really engaging, beautiful imagery, simple comments and uh, descriptive text about what is compelling about this product. Does this make you want to buy an iPhone? But it's not just big ads like that or merchandising content, you know, not in shopping. It's also in shopping itself. So let's imagine that you're buying a pair of Adidas shoes. In this case, Stella McCartney Ultra Boost X shoes, designery, uh, lots of imagery and product content that compels you and makes you want to buy that product for $220. Even this hotel, so this great high regency Reston um, has just full of rich content, probably 40 photos, a long list of product attributes that uh, sell all of the different uh, benefits of staying in this hotel. And last year I showed you screws, this year I'm gonna show you paper cups. So even paper cups, has full, is full of rich content when you're shopping for it, and I don't know if you see it too, I may just be really geeky about shopping and merchandising, but this is really compelling. I would buy these paper cups based on how they are, uh, they're merchandised, and I bet a lot of you would too. So, of course, you know what's coming next. Let's think about flight shopping. This is one of the things that has both changed and stayed the same. So here's one of the largest corporate booking channels in the world. They're selling United Airlines products for almost $9,000, and this is how we merchandise United Airlines products. Um, it's not great, right? Could be a lot, lot better. So maybe if you think you click on details, you'll get more information and you know it'll come to life, but this is what's presented. Just a lot of very dense text without a lot of information that really helps you make a decision. So we are the industry that created this. We are the industry that can improve this. Um, if you look on the consumer side, you also have uh, maybe a little more colorful, a little easier to read, but Asiana, Asiana versus Singapore Airlines, LA to Seoul. $1,500, you don't have a lot to go on, so you just kind of have to you know, know. And if you dig a little deeper, there are a few amenities, but basically they focus on baggage and all the different places that you can book. So they don't help either airline sell their product attributes. But let's take a look at how Singapore Airlines does it themselves. So if you go to the Airline Direct website, it's a completely different story. You have very good, rich information for that economy flight. Um, it's not just baggage, it's also the seat selection, frequent flyer miles, upgradability, cancellation, uh, booking change, complimentary, pretty cool, no-show. And look at this premium economy option there. Um, for about $500 for a 13 and a half an hour, hour flight, there's a premium economy option that a consumer can discover. And look what they do here. So there's richer content that describes and shows the product experience in addition to all of those ticket attributes. So 
completely dramatically different shopping experience on the airline direct site versus the indirect channel. So, Root Happy by ATPCO is now um, part of the industry infrastructure to really help you fundamentally solve uh, this problem in a, in a big transformative way. We're creating and have created industry standard rich content that everyone can use and integrate to really transform how we think about flight shopping. So what is it exactly? So we have built, this is all very new from last year. Um, we've built three unique hubs for airlines, amenities hub, UTA hub, that stands for universal ticket attribute, and UPA hub stands for universal product attribute. I'm hoping that by next year, everyone in the uh, aviation industry will know what UTAs and UPAs are. But think of these as three repositories for all of an airline's rich content, whether we originate it or we integrate your own rich content and put it into standard formats, flowed through any of the ways that you want to flow your content, NDC, uh, GDS, our own API, flat file, or even into your PSS, into all of your sales channels. So let's dig a little bit uh, deeper into the products. Amenities, um, we have, almost 300 airlines of baseline amenities. So most of the airlines in this room, probably all. Uh, seat, layout, Wi-Fi, entertainment, power, fresh food, et cetera. The, the image on the left is Qantas.com. Um, all of this amenity data, just like the hotel industry, is available for integration into airline direct channels and indirect channels on your own um, flights as well as your code share flights. So it's the entire global flight schedule uh, is packed with this data. This is just the beginning though. Um, the data goes deep and is very useful for consumers. So Wi-Fi is a good example. We take the underlying technology and we tell consumers what is the benefit that they're gonna get. Fast web browsing, basic web browsing, email and messaging. Um, and we go deep like that into all of the data. Uh, we also have created the ability for airlines to control and customize the amenities, so this did not exist before. So if an airline wants to say, <clears throat> not say refreshments, but say Starbucks coffee, you can do that with the amenities and we'll flow it through all of the sales channels. We now, our uh, distribution reach is very broad, Google, Expedia, Skyscanner, Sabre, and many more. Uh, in this example, Netflix streaming capable, so there are actually flights now where you can stream Netflix. We also have taken this data and we've packaged it into 360 views, so you can start to have a holistic view of all of your amenities and all of your uh, partner amenities as well. UTA Hub, Universal Ticket Attributes. We'll quiz you later on that. These are the benefits and restrictions by fare. So things like baggage and change and cancellation, boarding priority, check-in priority. This data is based on ATPCO branded fares and optional services data. But what we do is we take all of that data and many other sources within ATPCO and we normalize it, we transform it, we turn it into consumer grade content, translate it into more than 25 languages and we make it easy for your own channels or for indirect channels to integrate it to create fare uh, grids that have all the check marks or tick marks and X's and crosses of what you get or don't get by fair. So we've uncovered something really interesting. I hope you think it's interesting too. It's called UTA data gaps. So what we're finding is that because we're looking at the data that airlines file in ATP Go so closely, but from a consumer mindset, we're finding that there are gaps in the data. I know this is not the most riveting thing in the world, but it's very important. Um, so, now that we're looking at the data from a consumer standpoint of really populating these grids on, in shopping, we're finding that not all the data is there. So come see us. We are starting to create reports with ATPCO uh, to uncover which gaps you have in the underlying data that you file with ATPCO. And then, um, you know, sales channels need all of these categories. So the more that you fill these gaps, then the uh, grids are populated. So that's UTA data gaps. Finally, UPA Hub, Universal Product Attributes. This was the product that Root Happy was more focused on. 
last year, um, still very valuable. This is the photos and videos and cabin tours, uh, graphics and descriptions and captions, fully targeted to your aircraft, to time of day, to airport, so targeting criteria of your dreams, hopefully. And I'm really thrilled to announce this new service that we have unveiled called Root Happy Agency. So our team of content strategists, just like in marketing or ad agency, will work to create, uh, help you craft your merchandising strategy, uh, assess your content, create graphics to describe hard to um, visualize concepts like multiple flights on a route per day, something that you know, a photo just doesn't exist for. Uh, we'll test your content and we'll even go onto your aircraft with you and help you with your uh, photo shoots to make sure that you're getting the media that you really uh, need and deserve to show off your products. All of this comes together in modern flight shopping. So I'm not suggesting that the Tesla merchandising is how flight shopping should look, but if you imagine just all of the benefits and restrictions and the product attributes and the perks that airlines are offering increasingly in the world, it could look something like this. So one display that is based on branded fares that includes amenities and UTAs and UPAs all together to help a consumer make a really good decision and help you put your best foot forward as an airline. Uh, so this is really happening. We've got now, this is a page that is on rootehappy.com. We are now publishing all of the rich content that we have by airline and by content types. So you can go to rootehappy.com and see this. We have a great baseline of almost 300 airlines uh, of rich content and then varying degrees, UTAs and UPAs um, and amenities, which you can see. But we sort of have the baseline and there's a lot more that needs to be done to fill all of this content from an airline perspective. And we'll talk more about that in a second. We also are publishing sales channel access. So on the site, you can also see almost 100 sales channels that now have access to Root Happy Rich content. You can see it by uh, category of sales channel. And also, we just launched an indicator that shows which ones are live. So there's actually more than 50 channels are live by rich content type. So think about the chicken and egg problem of transforming this industry. There's a lot more than rich content, um, NDC and, and many, other, uh, many other things. But we are really doing a lot to help, trans uh, to help you see exactly who's doing what so that everyone can, uh, you know, you've got the information that you need to transform.